got this uh, Sansui the 1990 from the same guy that I got uh, in Cyprus from Brandon. He sold me before the Sansui 8080 for my previous video and the 8080 if you remember didn't have the lights or anything on the front but I sold the 8080 already sold pretty fast and uh, he showed me this receiver, the 1990, and of course I was jumping on it. It was in uh, Craigslist, my favorite place. And uh, as you see, it's in really nice condition. I think one bulb here is missing. It need to be <coughs> replaced. So that's the way it looks. If you're not familiar, auxiliary. You have the Dolby FM, you have really good AM reception, kind of surprising. I'm not listening too, here too much to AM, but the reception is and excellent the tuner. And that's the tone controls. This is the balance in the center. This is the volume knob. And this is for recording, loudness, tone controls. You have highs, you have the treble, you have mid range, you have bass. In the highs, you can choose between three and a half or one and a half. And in the lows, you can choose between. 300 to 150. I like tone controls. I big favorite for tone controls because uh, many times it's gonna make your speaker sound better than uh, or worse. Of course, I'm gonna choose the better. You see that this is the AM reception. How nice! How many stations? I got this receiver with excellent tuner. I sat there and I watched 30. Maybe. I'm I'm doing the bare minimum. You know what I am. And there's a big. Okay, this is the receiver. I hope you can see, it says 1990, Sansui 1990. Now there's a big debate about the 1990 or 1990 dB, which one is better, which one is worse. I don't know, I don't want to get to that because uh, this debate is not, never going to be over anyway. This is a very, very good tuner, very nice tuner. I connect only one speaker right here, only one speaker to this receiver. That's why only one, uh, one, only one view meter is moving. Okay, where is the auxiliary? Right here. Oh, I have nothing in the auxiliary. One second. Let me find something else. What is this? Yeah, I want to compare the sound of this 1990, of this Sansui, to the second receiver that I have over here. This is the Technics SA700. Because I have both and I like both. But it's definitely different in the sound. Yeah, I can tell you, you know, this is uh, from the first moment that I got this uh, Sansui, I can tell the difference immediately between this Sansui to this uh, Technics. The Sansui is have better bass control and his mid-range is more forward and is more aggressive. More aggressive, the Technics is more soft. One hundred and twenty-five watts and the Technics is a uh, hundred watts. But the Sansui feels way more powerful than the Technics.
This is the way it looks in the back. You have speakers A, B and C. You can choose three pairs of speakers. It's very heavy. And very pretty. This is minus 20. Filters. Okay, this is the 3K. Flat. This is 1.5. There's the bass one fifty. This is three hundred. Yeah, now I'm in comparison to this sound, forward sound, if you listen to the mid-range, this is the mid-range, okay, let me put this one on flat, this is the mid-range. You don't need to increase this mid-range, you have very detailed mid-range and forward, okay, if I compare it to the Technics SA700, and cut the highs and the lows yeah the techniques have uh, more pleasant sound, I would say, more soft. The, soft. the sound is more soft, it's less aggressive. I can feel it immediately. Technics is beautiful too. The technics is beautiful too. Yeah, but the Sansui have more control on the bass, better bass control.
Yeah, this little speaker here is nothing for this uh, receiver. This receiver can destroy these speakers easily. You know, there's some good deals over there, there's some good deals on Craigslist if you show up in time and if you're looking on time. Because I got this receiver, I actually got both receivers. This one I got the Sansui. This one, this one I got this, no, not the 8080. This one I got the 9090 for a beautiful price of 250 bucks. Beautiful price, I think so. And the, the Technics SS600, I got it for also the same price, 250 bucks. But the Technics is mint condition. But I bet I can sell the Sansui way more than the Technics. Yeah, the way I was in Craigslist and I saw which receiver the people, how they respond, the, the Sansui people just was jumping on it, jumping on it. And not not stopping no 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 stop to email you. They make sure that you got the email. They meant you send you maybe ten emails, only to make sure that you got the email. Yeah. So I'm gonna make another sound demo between these two receivers. Okay. So this is gonna be the techniques first. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep. But one of them I'm gonna keep, that's for sure. But I think I'm gonna... But it depends, it depends, I don't know yet. I prefer the Sansui. I prefer the Sansui. But you know, with if you close in your eyes, if you close in your eyes, and nobody say to you which receiver is playing the music, there's a good chance that you're gonna choose the Technics. Because his sound is very smooth, it's very pleasant to the ear. The, the the way that you hear the speakers from the Technics is like the sound is like this. It's going in the room like this. With the with the Sansui, the sound is going forward, very forward inside the room. It's make you feel the music, the Sansui. The Technics is more nice environment in the room. Yeah, that's the way that uh, I hear the difference. You know, everybody hear the difference in a different way. And the mid-range, and the mid-range is the big difference, I think, the two, between the two, because the mid-range with the Technics uh, is more soft. Maybe that's why they have the knob over here, you see? The mid-range, both have the same knob, yeah, mid-range knob, but uh, with the Technics is so soft, and uh, maybe it's too soft. And uh, with the Sansui is a little bit more aggressive and more full, the sound is more full than the Technics, so the Sansui definitely have uh, better control in the music all, all around, all around, but the high, but to be honest, to be honest, I prefer the clarity of the highs, I think the better separation in the highs with the Technics, yeah, this is what I think, but you know, it's old receivers, so nobody knows the history of these receivers, so I can speak only to these two that I have over here. And both are work perfect, perfect. Because here I'm missing only one knob. So this receiver, Brandon, keep it pretty good. He keep it pretty good, this guy. This is the Technics. This is 100 watts, the Technics, the 700 is 100 watts, and this little brother over there, if I'm not mistaken, is 75. This is my receiver, the 600, I use it right now.
I'm not using it right now. Now he's only watching. I'm using the, the 700. Yeah, the Technics is more soft presentation for the music. This is the Sansui. Yeah, yeah, that Sansui sounds better. Sounds better. You have such a nice control. Look the volume knob. Where's the volume knob right here? Barely touching. You need to be careful with this knob. He's gonna kill the speaker. And the other receivers that I used to have, the other receivers, they didn't have the, the power and the ability to push this speaker. Because this GBL is not very sensitive. And the Technics doing, uh, I'm sorry, the Sansui is doing pretty good job. <laughs> 